Welcome to this Goldilocks Productions presentation. Before we begin the show, let's go over quick guidelines. Callers, if you would like to get on air to ask the show host a question, please press 1. All those callers that do not press 1 and any blocked phone numbers, unlisted phone numbers, and Skype callers whose phone numbers do not show up on the switchboard, you will be in listen mode only. It is not mandatory that the show hosts bring on callers. So please keep your questions to one question only and be mindful and respectful of the other callers that are calling in and of the show host as well. If you have any issues or any problems um, and even any compliments or testimonials, please contact the Goldilocks Productions show producer and owner at the email of goldilocksproductions at hotmail.com. Again, that email is goldilocks with a Y, goldilocksproductions at hotmail.com. Thank you. Now on with the show. Enjoy this Goldilocks Productions presentation of the Joyful Finding Show with your host, Melissa Parks. Welcome back, everybody, to Joyful Findings. Happy Wednesday. So glad you guys could join me today. The energy is kicking. I tell you what, I don't know what's taking place overnight, but I can tell you a lot of things were happening for me. I was exhausted yesterday. I went to bed really, really early, and I was up at 3, I was up at 4, I was up at 5, and I just kept getting up. So I know there was a lot of stuff taking place in our energy fields last night. So how's everybody feeling today? I mean, I feel great, even though I was up all that that time, but it's all about, and I'm getting about this change, okay? Um, Because when I first started doing my automatic writing before the thing, they gave me five hearts. And five for me is always about change, you know, and numbers are very significant to me. Okay. They come up all the time, all day today, all day yesterday. Um, ah, See, the producer was up too. So it was like, there was a lot of energy going on last night, keeping us doing whatever it is that we needed to do by getting up, going back to sleep, getting up, going back to sleep, whatever pattern we were in with all that. Finally at four o'clock in the morning, I was like, all right, I'm going to try the couch and see if that works any better change up the energy but it's like when I first started out they gave me five hearts so it's all about this change that's taking place and it's happening on so many different levels people and I want you to feel if you get validation when I say these things and that validation could be like goosebumps it could be like you get all hot you can get cold whatever that validation is for you just tap into that and see how that feels for you because I feel like a lot more people opened up last night I feel like a lot more people are asking for help And I'm getting lit up as I tell you that. So um, if you are feeling that, you are being asked to help those around you if they ask you. Um, And lead them with some great advice, um, how to start projecting what they would like in their future. Um, And, again, I still lit up while I'm talking about this. So it's all about us helping each other. And I feel like that's why I'm out here in these airwaves for you all to hear me. Um, So whether you listen to me now, you listen to me later, it's all about us all connecting and with this love vibration. Because then they continue to write many more hearts across my page, and I don't have time to count them all right now. But it's all about spreading that love. And as we help ourselves, we help each other. And it's a beautiful thing because it starts to spread that love right and that's what we're here to do is spread love people it's all about spreading the beautiful beautiful love that's inside of us that sometimes is trapped inside of us um and I feel like my heart chakra has really been blowing wide open lately um so I hope you guys are feeling that too so you could feel this beautiful light and this vibration coming from you and I was getting that I was supposed to talk to you guys about truth speaking Okay, Um, and it's so funny because they always give me this information when I'm taking a shower sometimes because that's when we're quiet and we're kind of just like trying to do our thing, you know, and they're like, you know, uh, and they started because that's part of what my name is. I'm a truth seeker and they got want you all to speak whatever your truth is. So if someone keeps telling you the same thing over and over again and it still doesn't resonate as your truth, it is not your truth. Stop trying to swallow it like it is. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. So it's about releasing because they wrote that too on another piece of paper. 
Um, I actually have three different pieces or four different pieces of paper before I started. So they drew like this energy line around the outside of my paper, okay? Um, so it's all zigzaggy and nothing is straight or whatever. And it says, releasing all fears with three exclamation points. Moving forward with grace. Oh, joy. And then this brings me so much excitement because this is the message from the other side. You, all of you out there, as well as myself, are really releasing whatever fears we're still holding on to. And I feel like we've been through a muck of them lately, okay? I feel like we went through this big swampy land of crap, and we worked our way through all of that, and now we're really starting to move forward with much more grace and much more joy. And, you know, the spirits and guides and angels and everybody on the other side is totally loving this. Um, so that's exciting. Again, on another piece of paper, they wrote hearts again and releasing fears, all of them, you know, and then they had a smiley face with all the hearts too. So it's like, this is starting to bring each of you more joy. This is starting to awaken each and every one of us in so much more ways than was imaginable. Um, and I'm starting to see things also in a whole different way too. So I hope you guys are starting to see things differently too. Um, we're putting on these, um, these better glasses so we can see things for what they really are than rather than what people are projecting they should be. If that makes sense. We're trying to break all the, these illusions. Um, they also want me to bring up dreams for a hot minute so what kind of dreams have y'all been having? I feel like some of you have been like way off doing a lot of work. Um, and I know some of my friends have, so I know that I've gotten tapped into some of that. And I love tapping into that. That's awesome. And then there's also about when I, the beginning of the month, I also talked about magical creatures. So this actually came up again this week. So, and it's funny because before I went to do my joyful findings class on Monday night, um, my son had woken up from his nap. And his Nana had asked him, so what did you dream about today? And he's like, I dreamt about dragons. And he was talked about a little bit about them. They were all different colors and they were little and stuff like that. And then when, you know, I went into my class that night and I had one gentleman show up, which I was very grateful for. I was happy that he was there. It was meant to be. And I, when I started out with the meditation and after the meditation, I'm like, you know, did you get anything? Did you feel anything? And the first thing that he got was dragons. So a lot of dragons are showing up to help us, people. Don't be scared of the dragons. They are here to help us. And that's funny. A yellow butterfly went cruising by. So they're here to help us. You know what I mean? So what message are they giving you, whether it's in dream time, in meditation? Just pay attention to that, to, to these beautiful um, magical creatures that are here to help us because we're being helped on so many different levels. I wish you could all step into my mind's eye for a minute and just see the different layers of everything that's going on so that you can really grasp the bigger picture. And I hope you're feeling that through the energy that's coming on today. And I might have to move inside for a hot minute because the landscapers decided to wanted to come today. So with all of that being said and everything that's going on in our world, it's like we are starting to wake up. We are starting to find more joy. This is so, so awesome. This makes spirit so happy. This makes you happy. And that's the most important thing is your happiness. That's one of the things that we always strive for here on earth is that happiness. It's like the other day I was talking about this story again. I think I was about 13 years old. And someone asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up. And I said, I want to be happy. I want to be really happy. I want to know what it means to be really happy. Um, you know, and I'm starting to find that in my 40s, going ready to go into my 50s soon in a couple of years. Don't rush me. But it's like, you know, I'm, we're starting to wake up and find out what our happiness is. And we're doing that by finding what our truth is. So I feel like each and every one of you are kind of like opening up that vault. Is this my truth? Is that not my truth? And really starting to... What does that make me feel? How does that make me feel? Um, because I think it's awfully awesome and spectacular that everyone is really starting to evolve in such a way. And more people are starting to wake up. So they, again, they show me New York City, and then they show me, like, the city being blacked out, and then one building at a time is going on. We're starting to light up cities. We're starting to light up the world. We're starting to light up so many different things, and we're doing this by working together. And that makes me happy. <clears throat> and that, <clears throat> excuse me. And that makes them happy too. Yay. 
Okay, you guys are probably done listening to me talk. It looks like I have a caller. I think I will take that now. Um, I think that was 786 was my first caller. Hi. Hi. Your name and where are you calling from? Ospina. All right. How can I help you today, honey? Yes, give me one second. One second. Sure. Hi, yes, thank you. I just had a quick question. I me too. I was actually walking like around one thirty to two thirty this morning thinking, thinking, thinking so much about my court divorce related and I just felt very uneasy about whether I should try again and submit an updated financial affidavit and I reappraise it on the house which my ex husband supposedly wants to buy and I don't know if it will be effective or if I should just leave it all alone and wait for the ending result. Um, let me tap in for that. So what I'm getting is because you're not happy with how it's working out right now. So if you file this paperwork, does that actually help you or hinder you? I don't know. Okay. Because what I'm getting is why don't you, it's like, but that's what's playing in the back of your mind. Cause I can feel it. It's going like a reel. You know what I mean? It's just going, 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 going. You keep playing it in your head. So this is something that you desire to do. So I would say that, why don't you file the affidavit of whatever that paper is that you want to do, and then that will ease your mind because it's going to sit there until you do something about it. You've been thinking about this for a while. Yes. Okay. Yes, um, but the last time I, I attempted to do that, uh, the, the judge completely uh, rejected the reappraisal on the house. So I didn't know if it was going to be a waste of money it. on my part. Yes, it would be. If the judge already rejected it, then don't even bother just year. wasting your money. Um, so the, if it's already, see, you've already gone to a certain point where the judge is already involved now. So all the paperwork and all that, I feel, should have been wrapped up. So it's like now they want you to, like, pray for the highest and best income for yourself. <clears throat> and suddenly they said income. Outcome. Income, outcome. I guess it works for both. So it's like they want you just to pray on that, have faith that everything's going to work out for your highest and best, and allow that to happen for you. So just to leave it all alone? Yeah. And just let it, uh, let the judge make let the final decision? Yeah. Just pray on it, though. They want you to pray on it so, so you see it as the highest and best outcome for you. Okay. 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 Yay. Okay. Thank you. It'll all be all right, I promise. They they're saying that this is a test of your wills or something like that. So to have no worries. They want you to have faith, faith, faith is what they keep saying. So just rock and roll with that. Okay? okay. Thank you all right. so much. Take a nice deep breath and, and just release all the anxiety you're holding on to. You'll feel better. <sighs> See, you feel better already. All right, enjoy your day. Thanks for calling in today. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, so if things are already kind of in motion, people, you kind of got to rock and roll with it from where you're standing when you're doing it. And have faith that everything's going to turn out right. You know, it's like we try to start start second-guessing ourselves about things, and we really shouldn't. We knew right off what we were doing. Everything's going to be fine, whatever. Um, So it's like just go with the flow. Whatever flow you've started to rock and roll on, just let it unfold in front of you now and see what unfolds. But see the highest and best outcome for yourself. See see yourself living in that joy with everything working out to your highest and best. Because it's working out for the highest and best for you, that means it's working out for the highest and best for the person next to you, the highest and best with the people that you're um, involved with. Um, So it just works out for everybody in the long run, which is fantastic so i appreciate that call today um awesome 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 i'm excited that you guys are all calling in today and wanting to tap in i feel like the energy started to kick up right before my show today it was like all of a sudden they put me in like fourth gear or something when i was only like hanging out in second somewhere 
And it's just like, woo, we are, there's a lot of vibration going on. There's a lot of healing going on. There's a lot of awakening going on. There's a lot of recognizing your truth going on. Um, And there's a lot of speaking your truth because I feel like a lot of you are starting to stand in your power too and actually start talking this stuff. So it's phenomenal, people. I'm excited for you. And my next caller is coming in from area code 541. Hi there. Hi. Your name and where are you calling from today? This is Camille calling from Oregon. All right, Camille from Oregon. How can I help you today? Yes. So, all right. I'm a certified clinical hypnotherapist, and um, not much is happening in my business at the moment. I'm feeling a little bit stagnant. I mean, I'm here, but I'm stagnant. There's, there's, I don't know. It's like I need some sort of a a boost or a jump start, or I have no idea what I need. Is there any insight you can shed on this? Um, Have you thought about moving? I've already moved. We moved two years ago and are just getting settled into, and I have a child in school. Okay. So, Right on. Okay. Um, okay. So then where are you trying to set up this, this business? Are you trying to do it by word of mouth? Um, do you actually have a location? Are you doing it from your living room? Uh, what do you got going on? Word of mouth and also, I mean, I use my my cards and things to network, but I concentrate the vast majority of my efforts virtually since Virtually is more diverse population than, you know, right in front of me. There's doesn't seem like there's a whole lot going on for metaphysics where I live. Well, that's why you're supposed to get out there and find those people that are interested in it. So you need to start like a group, okay? Start like a group where you can talk about this stuff um, because I feel like there's a need there, but no one has started it yet. Um, And if you want to start the movement and you don't want to move, you have to start it there. Um, So set up, you know, talk about hypnosis and stuff like that at a group meeting of some sort just to get some awareness. They show me like three different groups, okay, within your area. So look to see if there's already some there or you're starting three different groups. Um, Because there's many abilities that you have more than just that hypnosis stuff. Um, so they're showing me that you're going to spread out a little bit with what you do. That would be great. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what that would be, but I'm open to that for sure. Okay, well, I'm showing that you have three de- definite things that you have going on. Mm-hmm. So hypnosis being one, you have to figure out what two and three are and expand on those and help bring out awareness because they just showed me you kind of looking like a spider not a scary spider but you starting as that central hub but then you have your eight legs reaching out and touching people so that shows me that that could bring in easily eight people to a group and that's pretty good for a start of a group you know because sometimes when I start groups you're lucky if you get one sometimes because no one's ever heard of it or whatever but you got to be consistent Okay, if you decide you're going to hold it every Tuesday, they want you to hold it every Tuesday, whether no one shows up or one shows up for at least a couple months, because sometimes right. people see the ad or they they want to go or it doesn't fall in right. Eventually, they'll be able to show up. That is true. So it's just got that to show commitment. Yeah. But you got this. You just got to put it out to the universe. And I feel like you're blocking yourself a little bit. You're blocking your shine. Do you not tell everyone what you do? I'm trying. It's just um, I, I'm. that's why I'm networking more because, you know, yeah, even though if something's like I've never heard of that, okay, well, let me just give you a very brief rundown of what this means. So, yeah, I am. I am okay, good. talking about it. Good, because they want you to talk about it all the time. This is That's what's okay. going to attract the people to you, because they're going to think about it after you tell them, and they may come back and be a client for you. Got it. Okay. Right. 
But you don't want to be a pushy salesman either. You just want to be able to tell people what you do and be like, you know, allow the people to flow into you. Because that's what I do too, just like you guys finding me. I put it out to the universe. I'm like, all right, whoever needs to see me today or needs my services, they are just going to flow to me. And then they just do. They're like, oh, I just saw your ad today or I've been watching it for two months and then they show up. So just allow that to unfold for you. Just believe that it's on its way. Okay. okay. Okay, great. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks for calling in today. Thanks. Bye-bye. You, you're welcome. Bye-bye. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, it's like putting out <clears throat> the energy for any business that you're in, whether it's the metaphysical business or you're running a retail business or you're running a corporation. Of course, we put out the energy so that the right people come to us, that they flow to us. You know, flow, flow, flow to us. <laughs> you know, so it's like, woo. Um, allow the things that are really for our highest and best to really flow to us. And then they're, they're making me all hot with this one. So it's like allowing all that energy to flow in exactly where you need it because they show me it kind of like making this river so it takes you exactly where you need to go, which is way fun, you know, and allowing yourself to follow your true path. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So how are you all feeling out there? Because I'm feeling the energy. It's feeling really, really good. I'm really enjoying this. And it's so funny because I got up this morning, and you all know I live in Florida, right? And I woke up this morning, and it was so beautiful outside. It was like 75 out this morning. You know, that feels like fall here in Florida. It was amazing, amazing, amazing. So I hope you guys are all feeling this beautiful energy. I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you guys are today. And I hope that you're all expanding in this beautiful energy that's being shared with all of us. Because, you know, they want me to talk about this too. Because sometimes the energy can come in like a tsunami wave. And what they've kind of showed me in my mind's eye is, you know, sometimes it looks like we're riding on top of that wave. And then sometimes we're in the middle and we feel like we're drowning. Um, Just remember that it's okay to rest. It's all right to chill out. It's all right to take time for yourself. Sometimes we feel a little guilty about doing that. I know as a mother, because I'm like, I got this to do, that to do, this, that, and the other thing. You know, a mother's job is never done. Um, So it's like we always have, we have to take some downtime. So don't be afraid to take some downtime, which is awesome sometimes, you know. All right, so I'm ready for my next caller from area code 631. Hi, hola. Hi, where are you calling from? And Hi. Your name? I'm calling from upstate New York. My name is Nicole. Okay, how can I help you today? I'm calling, and it's so crazy, like, you know, um, when I first tuned in, the first thing that I heard that you said is that, you know, right now you feel that the energy is, you know, we're overcoming our fears. And, you know, just a couple of weeks ago, um, one thing that I was really holding on to is, you know, going, you know, for my master's program for clinical counseling. And um, the reason why I said I was holding on to it is because I always just felt like, you know, the school route really wasn't for me for what I wanted to do. But um, I felt like I was using it as a crutch, you know, for, you know, as opposed to going out on my own. So I stopped that this week, so, you know, well, a couple of weeks ago. So I was calling to see, um, you know, what you can pick up about, you know, at where I am right now as far as, you know, because I'm really trying to, like, pay attention to it or if I'm just off <laughs> with it or um, anything you can pick up right now as far as, you know, just me, um like following the path that I'm supposed to take as far as being a healer? Like is it, you know, if, if I made a mistake and I'm supposed to still be in school or, but I mean, I'm feeling confident that I made the right choice. Okay. You made the right choice because now that you have this, you're going to have this master's, right? I have goosebumps as I say this. Okay. Now you're incorporating that master's in with all the spiritual stuff that you're learning too, Right. So now you're uh, well, going to be well, able I to stopped help. it. I, I stopped my program. I was oh, you did? Masters, but I stopped. Yes, I stopped. Okay. I just felt, you know, it, I just felt it was the whole time I was doing it, I just did not. I don't know how to explain it. It just felt. You weren't feeling joy. Like wasting like you, time. Right. Okay, perfect. I'm getting you now. Okay. So you want to yeah. start following more of the spiritual journey then and not the educational yes. journey. 
and incorporating right, that I know into I'm your a everyday healer. life. Right. Like, I know I'm a healer. That I, I'm sure of, but I thought that, you know, getting licensed as a mental health counselor was the right to go, route to go, but it just does not feel right. So, you know, I stop, but it's like, you know, now I guess I'm just waiting for the next thing to show me the right way to go, I guess. Okay, so what they just showed me is look up energy mm-hmm. healing or healing in New York State. Find out what their laws are because every, every state is different about whatever they're doing. Um, so mm-hmm. get whatever they want under your belt, and then all of a sudden <clears throat> you can start saying you're that healer, whatever that healer is. Um, because I feel like you're already a healer. That's why you couldn't stay in the educational system because it was like, Sucking the energy out I of you every day, yes, yes. Um, oh, rather my, than you know, like so right. spreading energy oh and spreading joy. Yes. Um, so yes. they show me that you're going to learn how to do that and start giving out your abilities. So not only are you just a healer, you have psychic abilities too. So just start honing oh in on those gosh. too. Wow. You know what I mean? Because they're showing me like all these little arrows pointing in that direction. So it's all about you wow. unfolding that right now. So it's like you're all. All of a sudden, you're really starting to unravel it because you also had fears attached to that, too, they're showing me. So it's like now you're really starting to unravel that. And it's kind of like a, like you look like a mummy and they're like, you know, a cartoon mummy, of course. And they're like pulling the, the you know, the, the paper off of you and you're spinning around. So it's like you're unraveling yourself and discovering who you really are now to help you move forward. And you already understand that mm-hmm. it's not giving you passion. You're not following that path anymore. Yeah, no, right. <laughs> wow. Yeah, definitely. That is me. You know, and that and that's what exactly what you said. I felt like I was being sucked dry because I do appreciate knowledge of those that came before me, but it was like, I know this already, like I feel this already, you know, and I just felt like I was just, you know, just wasting time and, you know, it just wasn't, I didn't want to feel restricted, you know, in, in the way that I do help people too. That was another thing that I was feeling like this is just going to, this is just going to put so many, like, you know, restraints on me and how I help people. So, you know, I just quit. And then the fact that you said that, you know, the psychic thing, because that, that is another thing that I've always been feeling. Like, why do I just, I literally just meet somebody and I I get flashes, like, of their whole life, like, literally right in front of me. And it's hard for me to, like, even concentrate. Like, when somebody tells me their name, like, I never remember because I just get such a flood of, and, I, and I'm not sure if it's my imagination or, like, you know, why, you know, all of a sudden people just start talking to me and I just, you know, feel certain things or see certain things about them. So it, why I, that that must be what that is. And as far as, you know, just paying more attention to it, I guess, to, you know, that, yeah, that it actually, is real and, and, and that is right. Ask, and what they just showed me is, like, ask one of those people if they'll sit down and let you try to read them and try to tell them everything that you're seeing, oh, feeling, and whatever. So <laughs> yeah. But, but don't. Make sure it's somebody you know already. You know what I mean? Rather than yeah. a stranger, you first meet. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> it's, you know what? It's so uh, funny. Actually, my sister met someone new. I saw her picture, and I told her, and she was at the point where, like, no, this guy, she just texted me earlier today, today. You were right. He was this. Wow. Like, that. I, when you said that, to try on someone else, like, it, that literally just came into my head. Like, yeah, she's right. Yes, it, Crystal just called you and told you that you were right. Wow. Wow. I'm so oh, happy I okay, called. Okay, so then Thank there's you so your much. validation. You're welcome. There's yes. your validation right there. So. Just keep Thank rocking and you. rolling with it. Start offering that out I to people, am. too, because it's very healing for people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people tell me just straight, like, the, you know, talking on the phone, like, just helping. Like, and I'm not even, like, really helping them. They're like, oh, you just made me, I don't know, just something that made you, you know, made me feel better. Wow. Like, I'm so happy you're, I called. Thank because you. Your like, this gave me so much pure. validation. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy your day. Have fun with that. I can't Thank wait to you. hear you how it too. goes. Thank you. I'll call back. You, Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Have a great day. You too. Awesome, awesome. Thanks. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <clears throat> As we start to wake up and start to really tap into our abilities, sometimes it might feel like it's our imagination. Um, I used to think that a little bit too, but I don't have time to think these things up. You know, I don't, my imagination doesn't have time to go there, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. But it's all about us really starting to open up and really using our abilities. You know what I mean? It's just a lot, a lot of fun. 
um, when we tap in and we start knowing things, you know, and we just understand things. It's like, it's awesome. It's way awesome. So I'm really excited that more and more of you are starting to wake up. I'm starting, I'm so happy that more and more people are releasing all these fears that have have been coming up and being released, um, which is phenomenal. Again, they want me to bring up the wave, this beautiful energy wave that's coming through and helping us to move forward in this beautiful space that we're moving into that we're starting to create. Like we're all creating being master creators together and we're starting to create these beautiful spaces here on earth. We're starting to take back all our powers from outside sources and things that we did believe that we don't believe anymore because it's not hitting our truth meter anymore. You know, there's things if they show me this little meter and it's kind of funny because remember back in the day, back when they had the fairs and you would hey, take the big hammer and you'd want to send the thing all the way up to hit the bell, ding. Well, they show me that as being like this meter, you know what I mean? And it's like, bam, there's so many, much more, many more people that are actually hitting it now. It's going to the top. It's ringing the bell. And there's so much excitement with that. So much excitement with that, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, look at that. I have another caller from 631. That's two in a row. Woo, woo. Oh, 512 is next. I already took that one. Sorry, my bad. Woo, woo. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Who are you and where are you coming from? Calling, calling from today? Hi, hi. Oh, you cut off on me. Could you say that again? All right, well, I think we might have just lost her. All right, well, if you can, try to call back in. All right. Well, technical difficulties, sometimes that happens. Um, So I'll just talk a little bit and see what else is going on. So it's like we have a lot of this forward movement. It's funny because they're drawing a lot of arrows on my page right now, you know, and it's got arrow, you know, it's got arrows moving forward. It's got arrows moving backward. So this all depends on which direction you really need to move in. So pay attention, follow your heart, walk and follow whatever feels good to you they keep showing me like it's so funny because now they're showing me this path of heart so it's like follow the love vibration follow that heart sensation that you're feeling and really start walking into that and many more of you are really starting to own that you know which is awesome very very awesome and I have to tell you that it's quite beautiful here today. I'm sitting out on my lawn now again since the landscapers left. And it, there's this beautiful breeze, and I can see, hear some of the birds chirping. So I would love for you all to get outside and enjoy some nature today. Even just for five minutes, stand in the sun or wherever you are, if there is sun. You know, just touch the grass, whatever you have going on. Hug a little tree. Um, I am a little nature baby. I never realized I wasn't so into nature until I got older, but it's always been like a a love of mine. So it's like tap in, you know, get your hands dirty, plant something if you want to. Um, There's so much joy going on right now and there's so much change going on. Um, And a lot more of the dirt is coming up is what they're showing me now. So if you can imagine like, um, I don't know why they're showing it like this, but I'm going to explain it to you exactly the way they're showing it to me. It's like there's like this little earthquake going on right now, okay? And I feel like this is happening all over the earth. And what it's doing is kind of like shaking up more of the dirt, um, you know, because it kind of reminds me, the shaking motion is what I'm seeing, um, kind of reminds me of kind of like, you know, putting our rugs out on the line and beating all the dirt out of them back in the day. You know what I mean? So it has that shaking effect going on and getting those last loose pieces of dirt up and out. Um, So there's a lot of clearing taking place. And this is on a personal level, a collective level, the earth level, on so many different levels. And again, they want me to remind you on how many beings and species are actually here on earth watching us from the other side that are here assisting us. And we just have to ask for help if we feel like we're stuck. Um, and move forward, to help move forward. Um, I feel like some of us still feel like we're a little stuck. Some of us feel like we're making those baby steps. Some of us are in a full sprint and ready to go. 
Some of us are still way up there waiting for people to catch up. There's so many different layers of everything that's going on today. Um, they just want you all to recognize what's happening for you. And you are responsible for the change that happens in your life because there is free will. So you have choices that you can make in your life to make your life a better life if you so desire which is nice. You know, we forgot we had free will sometimes. You know, I think back to when I was a kid, I was like, I didn't have free will. They told me what to do all the time. Um, But we really do. We still even have choices then, and I've even instilled that in my own children. They have choices, um, and they have to live with their circumstances or the consequences to those choices that they make. Um, And I make them fully aware of what those could be um, from what I know. So it's like, but I am only doing that with my children. I try not to do that with other people because we are all needing to tap in and really find out who we really are. And when I say that, it's like they're taking off these layers of whoever you are. It's kind of funny because they kind of show me as like a paper doll now. And we're taking all these different layers of the paper doll off. You know what I mean? All these just thin layers that really didn't mean anything, but they all were on top of each other. So it was very suffocating. So I feel like a lot more people are going to start to be able to breathe a lot easier now. I feel like you're just going to be moving. They keep showing me moving forward because they keep showing, throwing my hands out forward. So some of you are going to move forward pretty fast because they show it like a slingshot. So boo, where do you want to go? You're going to end up there. And I feel like many more of you are manifesting exactly what you want to. Um, so, yeah, it's like, what do you want? What is it you desire? Start following that. And they're showing me like these. It's funny now they're showing me a stage and these curtains are opening. So the curtain is opening on the stage. And now what is it that you want to see there? What is this on the stage that you want to be a part of? Uh, Because we're all a part of the stage, people. This is what we do here. We're here to be a part of this earthly plane, to learn things. Oh, that brings up a whole other thing. But I can't go into that now. That's a whole other story. But that was an aha moment for me. Um, So... (laughs) Uh, too funny. Okay. So no, I'm going to have to bring it up now. Okay. So no, I won't. All right. So anyways, I'm confused here. I'm trying to fight with myself. Funny, funny. Don't you guys do that sometimes too? Do you guys talk to yourself and then, you know, have this conversation with yourself trying to work these things out? Um, but no, they know better than I do. So it's all about what you desire to bring into your life right now and what we all bring to the earth plane. What is your playing suit? You know what I mean? Because we all picked out that suit when we came down here. I picked out my body, which is my suit. And now we're all moving forward through these bodies with our higher selves connected, okay? I've been doing this meditation with people a lot now about connecting that higher self into this human vessel so that you can bring balance between heaven and earth, so to speak. You know what I mean? So really open up to your higher self. And by opening up to your higher self, you really have to go deep within, okay? It's really not just about reaching up to to the heavens. You have to go deep within to find that. That's where your soul spark is. That's where all the information you need is, is truly inside of you. The outside forces are here to help, but what you know and what you believe is already inside of you. Now it's just about untapping that and allowing yourself to fully, fully, fully be in that today. Um, I'm so excited because there's so much new things happening um, and new things, whether you're going back to school and you need... Okay, so, uh, yeah, Amanda, yeah. Um, so, in any way, um, we are moving forward. A friend just chatted me. She can't call in because she's at work. She's going to text it to me, so I'll read it out loud when she does. Um, so, I just told her she could. So, anyways, it's about us really moving forward and really opening up to who we really are and understanding what we have going on. You know, I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, and you should be excited, too. You can feel my energy today. Um, it's way better than it was last week. Because remember when I asked for collective healing because we were all feeling so icky? I bet you're all feeling a lot better now because we put that energy out there, right? So it's like, woo, baby, open up and open up. It's amazing stuff. I feel like it, I feel like I was just in an explosion right there. Like my arms went out and everything. Like this beautiful, <sighs> source of love just went flying out of me. So I hope you guys can feel that out there everywhere. Um, You know, it's like, woo, open up, open up, open up. Everyone, and they're making me really hot right now. So that's a good sign. So that means more of you are starting to feel this. More of you are starting to open up. And it brings me great joy that so many people are releasing those fears because 
they pop up, you know, in the middle of the night sometimes, or they pop up in the, you know, in your mind during the day. Because even they've been trying to do that with me. I've been trying to fight those little demons myself, you know, and releasing them all. So it's not just me, it's everyone. We're all going through this as a collective. There's so much that we just have to let go of, you know, because we're still human. So, but boy, oh boy, I tell you what, they are making me hot. I hope you guys are feeling that out there. And I hope that you guys enjoy the show and that you guys want to tap in and find me sometimes outside of the show. You know, you could always get a reading or something like that. You can always find me on my website at IamMelissaParks.com. You can reach me on my phone at 941-266-9250. And if you're in Sarasota, Florida this weekend, Friday night at the Crystal Cave, we're having her psychic fair. It'll be outside from 5 to 9. Come dress in your costume. What a lot of fun. I'm looking uh, uh, okay. I'm looking into um yeah, hoping you guys can come Friday. Oh. All right. So yeah. Tiffany, fly down here. It's beautiful this weekend. We need the producer to come down. Hey, there'll be a few of us there maybe. So yeah, it would be a lot of fun. There'll be a lot of pictures. I don't usually get to take pictures because I stay very busy. Um, you know, so it's like Okay, so the joy of being moving forward. And I'm excited for this Friday night because there's always a lot of new people that I meet, and then there's only people that I see when I'm at that fair. And then I get to run in and see a lot of my friends there, too, because Sarasota is a very spiritual community. Community, You know what I mean? It's amazing the people that are brought here. Um, so, woo, you know, it's amazing stuff. Woo, woo, woo. Um, joy 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 is on the way people you know this is exciting time it very very exciting um so i look forward to see where it goes from here okay you know and we always have more thinning of the veil as halloween comes up and you know it's coming closer and closer because we're already at october 23rd you know so you're being able to see more you're able to feel more um you're able to experience more there's a lot you should be feeling and you know sometimes it helps if you take notes I feel like I need to bring that up sometimes it helps if you take notes um and you know it helps organize things for us sometimes because I get a little disorganized oh and then I need to bring this up too because I had a client that called me yesterday that's been forgetting everything she really thought she was losing her mind she thought she was all kinds of things. And I said, oh, girl, I was like, no worries. I'm doing the same thing. Um, I don't know if I guys told you guys this a couple weeks ago, but I'm usually really good. And I, I'm very punctual to everything that I, I get involved with and I, I'm committing myself to. But one day I blew off at the beginning of October. I think it was October 1st, actually. Um, I totally blew off the meeting because I totally forgot about it until the lady called me and goes, are you still coming? And I go, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I was like, can we reschedule? Um, because it just happens, you know what I mean? So now I'm like, and this is happening for a lot of people too, because remember time is an illusion, people. We only need time on earth. Um, so our spirit self is like, hey, we don't really need to get up, which is really funny too, because I have an internal alarm clock in my body. Like I will always wake up before the alarm clock goes off. Um, I don't even have to set an alarm clock for me to get up. Um, it's like I'm, my body is automatic. It's like it's so strange, but it's funny. But now I have to keep track of everything in my in my phone, so it gives me alerts, so I can keep track, which is way funny. Um, so way funny. Um, so no, we're not losing our mind. We're just kind of losing track of time, if that makes sense. Um, and we're kind of like converting or converging. We're our timelines are starting to come together. So that could be a time issue, too, because we're working in one time and, you know, we're actually in another. Um, so it gets very confusing once you start to open up the whole whole world of everything that's available to us to understand and bring forward. So it brings me great excitement, as you can tell from my voice. And I'm bouncing around on my couch as I talk to you um, and watching the bees go by. So make honey while you're out there, too, people. See, all the animals show up just when they need to um, to help me and to help you okay and again I, they want me to bring up the the number thing because I had a funny and it's 144 right now in my time so that's funny um which happened to me yesterday so as I was getting out of the car yesterday I noticed it said I had 222 miles left 
And then it said I had 55,444,000 miles on the car. And then it also told me it was 92 degrees out. And it also told me that I was like, do work. I was uh, getting like, um, what was I getting? 20.9, you know, miles per gallon. So those numbers, like, and I only saw the 222 when I decided to take the pictures. All the rest fell into place afterwards. I'm like, oh, my God, look at that. You know, so just know that everything shows up and shows itself to you for a reason. Whether your mind gets brought over, to, your eyes get brought over to look at the clock, like it's still 144, like I just looked now. You know what I mean? So it's like whether your eyes get brought to wit, what do you see? What does it make you feel? What does it make you everything that I want you to like kind of like open up everything to that kind of perspective and go, how does this make me feel? I, I, they just want you to really tap in and see how this makes you feel. Feeling is one of the words of the week um, because it's really, how do you feel? And if you're not feeling good, how do you make yourself feel better? You find things that are going to make you happy and you stop doing things that don't make you happy. You know what I'm saying? So it just makes me excited. Again, here I go again. I'm excited. And you should be excited, too, because we are creating this future together. We are moving this future together. Um, it just brings, uh, it just makes me so happy. Um, and it should be making you happy, too. Like I said, if you're not feeling the happiness, you need to change something in your world to make it happy. Um, so moving forward, what is it that you desire? Put that out there to the universe. Ask your angels, ask your guides, ask your loved ones for help. You know, maybe even, you know, talk about it out loud a little bit. I see vision boards coming up. So either you guys are trying to vision it in your head already, or you're going to create a vision board. Um, because I feel like, you know, sometimes when we put that vision out there, we're like, all right, universe, this is what I'm looking for. Um, and it unfolds for us. So just know that you're opening that new door. You're starting this new chapter of your new life, which is every moment of every day, really. We can start over every minute if we should choose to. Um, and most of us are choosing that almost in every moment. All right, I'm starting new again. I'm starting new again. You know, so we motivate ourselves to keep going in this beautiful future that we want. Sometimes it gets a little rough because some of those past lessons are still rearing their heads a little bit, um, making themselves known so that you treat them differently. So how can you treat those differently? Open yourself up to something new and amazing. Amazing. Excuse me while I get my little sip of water. So I am excited that all of you have tapped in today and all of that you that will listen in the future. Um, I know there's great changes coming up for all of us in this future um, because they said that in my automatic writing in the beginning. And again, it's all about what you're feeling and how do you want to feel um, because we don't want to feel bad. We already know what that feels like, right? And we want to know what it feels like to be joyful and to have all the fun in the world. Um, and sometimes that still comes along with all our, our responsibilities. So sometimes we feel like we're too adult to have fun. Um, I know I get in that rut sometimes, but my kids bring that out of me, and I know that I need to have fun with them. So make sure that you're having fun in your life. Also make sure you bring out that inner child um, and really get a belly laugh in. I feel like there's not enough laughing going on, so make sure you get out and laugh with some friends, your girlfriends, your boyfriends, your family, whoever it is. Um, but get out there and find some joy and love um, and find it and create it. There's this great energy they want me to tell you right now that's vibrating out of me right now. So I hope you all are feeling it um, because this will pretty much help me wrap up the rest of the show, I think, today. Because it's like you're sending out this wave. Again, I think I saw this at the end of the show last week, too. Like if you saw a calm lake or a pond or whatever, and we threw a rock out in the middle and it starts to create those waves from the center point. We're really starting to put out our vibrations more because I feel like this is on an individual level. So each of you are really starting to get your wave on and let those ripples come out and, uh, and away from you, as I see two little butterflies um, intertwine. intertwine. It's like I see this beautiful wave of this beautiful change going out across our land, and you guys are doing it from love. And you guys need to remember that love wins. That's what we're here for. We're all connected in that love vibration. Um, and they're sending that out. And I can even hear the vibration in my voice that they're sending that love vibration out in, which is kind of strange, but cool at the same time. Huh. Kind of interesting how all this stuff unfolds sometimes, you know. Sometimes it can be very new even for me or even for anyone that's experienced in dealing with spirit and, and working with spirit and working for God. Because I feel like that's my highest thing as I'm working for God. I'm part of his 
his group. We're all part of his group, and we're all here, and we're all doing this work. We're all part of different teams. We all have different missions that all lead to the same great cause. So I feel like a lot of you are starting to create your tribe. And just like out there in Oregon, if you need to start groups out there, start them. You know, and even everywhere, if you don't see a metaphysical group or a spiritual group in your neighborhood, create one. See how many like-minded people are out there so you can bring you bring yourselves together and create more love within that city limit, that town, you know, whatever it is, whether, you know, out in the middle of the country or in a big city, bring it together and bring in the love because spirit always told me when I started going to groups like that, where I started um, learning from different people and stuff, different mentors and stuff, they were always very excited to come and watch those different groups as we would expand and they would tap in and help us depending on who would be able to bring them through. So just know that they're there to help you too and make it happen for yourselves. If it's not there now, just make it happen. Um, and I hope you guys have a most excellent week. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap this up a few minutes early. Um, and you guys have yourself a marvelous week and enjoy everything that's going on in your lives and create magic in everything that you're doing. And they're sending energy out in waves of love right now. So I hope you're all tapping into that. So I hope you all have a very blessed week, and I will catch you next Wednesday at 1 p.m. Peace out. Love you.